Hello and welcome back to Space Hulk. Alright, so we're uh, running out of stuff there. Prepare yourself, brother. Oh, God. He's on Overwatch. He doesn't quite have enough points to actually go into Overwatch. And that's okay because the stuff coming from this direction is currently quite limited. Whereas the stuff coming from this direction is horrific. So, yeah, you two are probably going to be in a uh, lot of trouble soon, so good luck, gentlemen. Here they come. This is my preferred tactic, by the way. Hold the position. Can't kill. kill. Two of the, what, 36 we need. Admittedly, when it comes time that he's going to have to reload that thing, we're going to be in problems. Assault cannons are very, very powerful, but they are... Much more aggressive, a little bit more limited. It's your classic trade of oh, 6 CP, and I don't really need it. The Emperor is don't. my shield. Okay. If I reload, I can then put him on Overwatch again, which will be very useful. Does he have a clean shot at anything? Yes. Load him. Okay. Confirm kill. Reload. And go back. Weapon at the ready. You go and Order go confirm. there. Hold so it. if anything manages to get down into here, he should be able to take it out. Whether or not this. Overwatch. Weapon at the ready. Go to Scipio. Get into position. And then Overwatch. And then Securing let's let these center area. bitches come at us. Here they come. This is the problem. As soon as I read that it had a chance to explode, I'm just waiting for it to happen. Are assault cannons really that unreliable in 40k lore? I mean... You know, the main thing I've seen assault cannons use in Dawn War series when they have gun capture. So explode. So I can't recall the big use in the fiction Or at least in or at least if they have, I don't remember them exploding. So. Okay guys. Yo, know, decent range, decent accuracy, so yeah. All you have to do is hold these points. Sergeant Gideon. Prepare yourself, brothers. Brother. He's running pretty low on ammo, but he can't reload. Ah, presumably he only gets two reloads. Oh dear. That's that's pretty bad. Watching for Let's enemy contact. Flag secured. Overwatch. Okay. The turn. Here they come. So between the two of them, they can lay down a pretty decent field of fire. Oh, that's a lot of them. But I wouldn't give her a flamer on this mission. Because yeah, I could really mess them up if I had one of those. How much ammo have you got left? You've got one ammo. Oh boy. You were my primary line of defense. I'm going to have to move you to there. You on Overwatch. Securing area. Brother, move to there. Put you on. Overwatch. Securing position. You guard. Securing Overwatch. position. Overwatch. Securing area. And then we Movement go. Brothers. 
to the gun. Okay, and I think he's out of ammo. Okay, got the Valencia. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of them. Yeah. Gotta say, that assault cannon really burned through its ammo. I'm just used to the Dawn of War series where they've got unlimited ammo and you can just use them indefinitely as insanely good defensive measures. Seriously, just build an entire defensive line from nothing but uh, Terminators armed with assault cannons. Nothing will ever get past it. Okay, he's out of ammo and he's now basically useless. Wonderful. Well, you basically just became cannon fodder, mate. Sorry. The Emperor is my shield. Brother. Overwatch. Try and stop anything getting too close to uh, our brother useless over there. To be fair, he's already got movement. that 12 kills. They will fall. But uh, being out of ammo this quickly into a mission. We've still got more than half the enemy's main they also unjam it if you've got uh, remaining command points, don't they? That's that's useful. Yeah, cause the command points aren't really doing anything if you don't spend them. So. Okay. Continue to hold. Sorry, I appreciate me not doing a lot. It's probably not that interesting, but this is the most effective tactic I can come up with. I Stand your ground, cower Dallas. while they run at us and shoot them. My aim is true. Actually, from there you do have a shot with your bolt. I don't use it. Yeah. The machine spirits guide my fire. Yep. Yeah. Directly target those two, and then put him back into overwatch. Holding position. And you two the enemy lose. will fall before me. Order confirmed. Because hopefully, anything that gets through their field of fire will attack Sergeant Gideon, who should have a decent enough chance of uh, just beating both the heads of the machine. I'm doing prayers. a hammering motion. It's, yeah, I'm going to stop doing that now. Movement, brothers. Again. Oh, good lord, here they come. Race for incoming gene stealers. <clears throat> come on, come on. Oh, that's a lot of gene stealers. The Emperor is my shield. I really Never hate the type that doesn't have any ammo. The enemy. It's, it's annoying. Okay, storm is fire. <laughs> These two are getting all the kills at this point. At least the vast majority. Come on. Confirm kill. The interesting thing is, after I miss once, my chance to hit is still up to me. Go from 30 or to 50. Odd. Which is nice, I suppose. Watching for enemy contact. Yeah, this this is definitely the best tactic. I would not like to be trying to advance towards these gene stealers. Oh good lord. <laughs> I think the other half of the squad's about to start getting some kills. Where well, I really hope they are. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. How do you guys not have a clean shot? Oh, it's probably, yeah, that is probably the nearest point they can actually hit. 
Oh well. Unbreakable faith. They the shall protect. not pass. Holding position. The enemy will fall before me. Overwatch. Hmm. You've actually got a shot, have you, brother Scipio? I have no idea what that even is you can shoot. So I'm not going to make... Oh, it's a door, is it? Okay. I'm not going to have you shoot it then. <laughs> okay, they come. Thankfully between the two of them there's a pretty decent field of fire set. I'll admit, there are times when it's pretty awesome just letting these guys go to town. But admittedly, in all these cramped confines, the camera occasionally has twitching problem. I'm sure it sort of tries to work uh, stuff inside of the wall. Because I've got to say, this, this camera definitely reminds me of the um, XCOM action camera. Which is fine, you know, because it, it's a pretty good idea for a turn based game. Because it really lets you sort of get in on the action a bit. Okay, is this frozen or something? Come on. Let, let me do something. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to save again there because that had a weird feeling of a freeze. And if it, you know, if I lost my progress for the entire mission, that would be no very, very annoying because I'd have to do it all over again. Weapons ready. And granted, I haven't exactly Holy done a lot of this mission. I've basically just been. And putting them on Overwatch every turn and just letting the blood fly, but uh, the enemy will fall before me. Here they come. Yes, it seems to be running a bit sluggish all of a sudden. Come on. Think, 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 think. Do you have other bolt of fire? You've got to be running out of by now. Yes, it's got very sluggish for some reason. Come on. Come on, my turn now. Come on, please. Please can it be my turn. Please. Thank you. Kill the remaining gene stealer. Okay. His bolter hath jammed. Clear to fire. And jammeth his bolter. And he doesn't have a clean shot because he's in the way. Let's move it. Okay, I'm not going to risk power fisting because the last time I actually deliberately attacked one of these guys in melee, it didn't work. And my own guy got killed. So I'm just going to shoot him until he dies. The that went pretty much perfectly, to be honest. Because let's face it, you know, I didn't lose any of my squad. The enemies lie heaped at your feet, and the way is open for us to press the assault. Victory is yours this day. That it is. We did very well there, gentlemen. Even if all we did was stand there and shoot them as they came at us. Let's move on. Our assault cuts deeper into the Hulk, but one of our cyber-altered task units has been lost in the zone beyond our perimeter. We must have the information it carries, for failure in this will bring ruin to all. Sergeant of the squad, accept your orders. Okay. Two squads are at your command. Ooh, cool. You will deploy all Terminators here. Scans have detected gene stealer presence in these areas. Right. You must retrieve the 40 CAT. Which is where exactly? The enemy seem to know what we intend. They approach. Alright, so you're not actually going to tell me what this thing I'm looking for is or where it is, are you? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so, Squad Lorenzo. 
We're deploying top. Yes, they're deploying up there. That, I'm assuming, is the exit I need to reach. Okay. Minimap would be helpful, I've got to say. Well, there's some missions where it would be helpful anyway. Somewhere would be a bit pointless. Right, so... Was that? No, that's the teleport in lo location for Squad Gideon. Which is the one I was a command of last time. And Squad Lorenzo's deploying here. Okay. So where on earth is the place I need them to get to? I'm going to assume it's one of the rooms, because otherwise... Yeah. Okay, Lorenzo and Noctis are taking point there. Zale and the others are going there. Squad Gideon. Okay, Brother Leon and Brother Valentino worked very well last time. Okay, let's deploy that. Box received, Commander. Okay. Move forward. Overwatch. Okay. Another Noctis. Move forward. Holding position. So this is fairly tense. Okay, I need to get him forward as quickly as possible so that he can flame off this area and keep him contained. Oh, he's got the cat, has he? Okay, so where do I need to exit the level with that thing? Ah, so I need to get him down to here, do I? Okay. Now I know what I actually need to do. So, what's the most effective route? Okay, it looks to be round here, through here. Dun, 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 dun. Why can't I see a bloody map for this level once I'm playing it? Not along. Strategic view, there we go. Okay, so I need to get him down to here. Which means I've got to go through here. Which means that I'm going to need a couple of guys holding this area. Then I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'll need at least one or two guys holding this area. Another guy holding this area and another guy holding this area. Oh, good lord. This is going to get messy, people. Right. Okay, Brother Dino. You need to go through this way. And the best way to get you over there is through here. Now the question is... Yeah, okay. So I have no idea what it is that he's carrying, it's not something like Ah, so I can pass it on to another unit if I want to. But I'm assuming if he dies without passing it on, then the mission's probably scrubbed, or do I just have to get to him effectively? Okay. So, Squad Gideon. Sergeant Gideon moved that way. So, move to there. Yes, move to there. Face that way. <sighs> you move to there and face that way too. I need these two to hold this direction. 
I should be able to do it for a little while. But I can then deploy Brother Omino to cover them. Yes, if I place him to there, to there, okay. And Brother Scipio is going to be supporting the commander, or the sergeant rather. Right, end that turn. Okay, figured we'd have some Xenos movement down there. Yep, knew that was coming. Okay. Purge the unclean, gentlemen. Purge the unclean. Okay, get, get Sergeant Lorenzo there. Because ideally, I need to get him to about there-ish, so I can cover that corridor. Open it. Go to Overwatch. Brother Noctis will provide fire support in case they get past Brother Lorenzo. Overwatch protocol initiated. Yes, thank you. Haven't heard any movement from there yet. So I'm going to risk moving Brother Zale forward pretty aggressively. Because what I need to do is get him onto that square. In fact, I'm going to put him onto that square. Because once he's there, he can flame this area, keep them suppressed while brothers Dino and Goriel, it's Goriel, make progress. Sergeant Gideon needs to move over to there, because I need to get him into a position about here-ish where he can hold this corridor until these guys get through. Area. Now you can't really shoot down there effectively. So I'm going to move Clear you to path. there. So it's a defensive unit. Your job will basically be shoot them if they get past him. But you can't do anything yet. You brother. Securing oh, position. Just gets to kill him. And you brother will move to support. Sergeant. Okay. Here they come. Okay, good work. Another two Xenos dead. It keeps firing ages after it's actually exploded. He is a really good unit to put on Overwatch. The only problem is he burns through ammo fast. Okay. Sergeant Lorenzo. Get to that position. <laughs> Lovely squelching sound, by the way. Okay, I could use... Now, Brother Noctis, get to that position, and then set Overwatch. Brother Zael, you are going to hold position there. Now, they shouldn't have enough. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So they shouldn't have enough room to actually come in and murder him. Okay, so if I move him to there... And then Sergeant Goriel... Sorry. And then uh, Goriel to there... I 
gives me enough room to move him back, which should let him cover that area more effectively, because they definitely can't advance fast enough to kill him from there. There you are currently looking at a Volko, which is not very helpful. Okay. Now we haven't detected any movement from there yet. Let's still do with getting... Yes, I'm going to move him with all haste over to there. Because I ideally need to get him into position where he can not necessarily kill anything that comes through there, but at least slow them down a lot. 3 AP, so he can kill the next 3 enemies that come through there. Order confirmed. Holding. Okay. Tempted to move him back a square, to be honest. Yes, and I think I will. Moving ahead. Stay alert, oh, well, brothers. Brother. Move in support of the sergeant. Okay. Yes, I suspect I'm going to be saving a lot in this game, people. Okay. Just in case they get into melee range, but I don't honestly think they will. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to have to reload next round. Well, that's okay, that's okay. Yeah, because there's enough CP to go around. Right. Now, squad. Now, Sergeant Lorenzo is. Yeah, he's there. Securing he needs to area. overwatch and hold those guys. Brother Noctis. Scanning for enemy movement. Assisting. Brazil. Burn him. Those guys buy these two some time. Okay. Now he can advance a lot, but that to me seems unwise. So you're going to move forward to there. Probably shouldn't have him on point there, but I don't have a lot of choice, unfortunately. Advance, brothers. <sighs> Okay, get the sergeant over there. What I might actually do is pass that to the... No. If I'm then next turn, move him up to about here-ish, him to there-ish, and hold these positions. That would get the job done. Okay, reload your cannon. And go to Overwatch. So the second they flinch, he can blast them. They will fall. Overwatch. Securing area. Scipio is assigned to this location. Because that way I can use him to hold this area while my allies come through. Anything else? Yeah, I might as well back Brother Zale up a little bit, because you can cover them effectively from the flank. Right. Kill. So that must be eight rounds left, or eight volleys left. Over. Seven. Six. And he burns through fast. Is it just me, or does uh, Sergeant Lorenzo's hair keep changing colour from white to blonde? Depending on what the light is. Kill. 
Okay, we're running over our timer slightly for this one, so once it actually becomes our turn again, which it now is. No? Okay, there we go. So, yep. I will say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.